what's up everybody it's Dante Fido and uh, this is a 3 vs 3 hard computer match with me Husky and Corn Doggy and some of you yeah you can see right there beginning I'm like oh it's Husky as I'm sure many of you know Husky Starcraft uh, I sent a message to Husky earlier and he said that this was not him so this is somebody possibly just using his name it's it's a very skilled player. I honestly would not be surprised at all if this was re if this really was Husky playing here because it's a very good player. He does a lot of interesting Protoss tricks that you'll see later on. So this is a this is three versus three on hard computer. So the key to this is um, holding off the computer pretty much as long as possible until you're ready to you know mount an attack. You don't really want to go in and try and attack the computer like right off the bat. Because it usually doesn't work. But you're going to see here Corn Doggies, who is Zerd, is just going to send in a, uh, a sits pool just to try and see what he can do here. Maybe take out a few, uh, take out a few uh, drones and you know maybe slow down the computer's process progress, which eh, doesn't really work. He gets taken out. So uh, I've been assigned with the task, or I decided to assign myself to the task of uh, covering uh, Corn Doggies' wall with uh, photon cannons because I'm in the middle so you know I can just kind of do whatever I want and uh, uh, Husky is just gonna I assume that this was Husky Starcraft so I take it he can handle covering a wall on his own he's a pretty skilled player but once again this isn't Husky Starcraft as he says so um, so right now what you're basically just kind of doing is just holding off while you wait for the other uh, the first attack force to come. So, uh, um, Husky's taking out that first expansion, taking out the rocks. I'm taking out the second expansion. So, just kind of wait for that. So, here comes the first attack force that they're going to send out, the first wave. So, this is this is the most crucial, in my opinion. If you're doing a three versus three on hard, if you don't survive this first wave. You're you're obviously not gonna survive the rest of the game, but I mean, if you if you lose someone to this first wave, then it's basically over. And this is the hardest wave to defend against. You can see they uh, they ran away from my photon cannon, so now they're gonna go and hit Husky. So Husky is there, and he's warping in more uh, stalkers. Which at first it looks like he's got them, and then they take out all the stalkers. So Corn Dodge is gonna go up there, send some Zerd lanes, which is a good strategy. I'm gonna run up there, send my Z lots. And we hold off the first wave with not too many casualties. You can see we've got uh, me and Husky are heading out to our first expansion, which is right there. Which kind of sucks if you're the third player that doesn't make it in to that, because then you've got to branch off and go to one of the later expansions that are farther out. And 90% of the time, the computer is going to go and attack those first, because it's the computer and they just know where those are at all the time. So now that you've survived the first wave, is um is you secure your expansion and you start gathering resources basically as fast as you can. So there's Husky warping in some more stalkers, preparing a pretty decent sized army. Uh, at the moment I'm just uh, getting resources. I know that my wall of eight photon cannons is gonna, is gonna hold out for a while so I'm not too worried about it. Plus Corn Doggy and Husky both seem to be pretty good players so you know I trust them. And uh... You can see there, I just put down two two star gates, which is part of my standard uh, build order for a hard computer. It involves uh, rushing with void rays. So, once you get enough materials, you know, start building stuff. All right, here comes the uh, the second attack force. This one's a uh, it it gets a little bit larger each time, and you can see right there, Corn Doggy's freaking out because they went and hit his expansion, and as I said, if you're not within your kind of barricade there and you try to expand out, most of the time they're going to go and attack that first and then they'll come and attack you. And I just told Corn Doggy, you'll be alright. You know, it's it's fine. You you don't you don't really need your expansion that much. You just gotta basically if if you're Zerd, just kind of spawn Zerdlings as like as much as you can because all the computer over hits you with is ground forces. So you can see they're now coming out to hit Husky. And Husky is warping back, and here's a brilliant strategy that is freaking amazing. He's those those 
Zealots are individually attacking each of his stalkers, and then he's warping each one back once it takes damage. So you can see he actually managed to destroy however many pro however many zealots that was eight or nine I think without even losing one stalker, which is freaking genius. I'd never seen that before. That was a really really smart strategy to individually blink each of your stalkers. So now you can see that we've pretty easily got him in their attack force. So uh, Husky's bringing in more. Uh, drown units, and then he's gonna go branch off because uh, he's moving up to his third expansion, and I'm working on void rays now. It's, uh, again, part of my normal build order that I do. Um, Corndani is just kind of scouting around on the ground, gonna gonna try and go back and reclaim his expansion with his little uh, his ground forces erdlings there. I'm building more void rays as I get resources. The computer is preparing their third uh, attack wave. So, yeah, just waiting on uh, waiting on that here, and they're getting ready to attack. So Husky's got a bunch of sentries there. Here comes the third attack wave. They're grouping up. They're getting ready to hit us. Uh, Husky's warping in more sentries, just trying to trying to defend there. I'm not really sure sentries are such a good, you know, spamming unit. I mean, I know they got their force field, but that's about it. So, uh, you can see they're hitting Husky pretty hard there. They're gonna take out all of his uh, all of his forces and his expansion too. And then, uh, they're yeah. See, they're just taking him out. There's no way he should have survived against that. So, Husky has got plenty of warp gates to bring in reinforcements. So they take out his expansion, and then Husky pins the map. You know, saying, hey, they're about to hit right here. And we're all pretty well aware of that. And uh, he pins the map, and then he leaves. Right there. Husky has the left of the game. And I was like, really? Because I prepared for this. Here comes my Void Raid army that I've been crafting the entire time. And we literally dropped this entire attack force. Just taking them all out, dropping them, do, 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 do. Didn't even lose one void ray. And, yeah, see, Corn Doddy was like, the dude was like, fuck that. And I I assumed that Husky has never played against hard computer before because that was actually an easy, easily manageable attack force. You can see I just completely destroyed them. So now uh, that's around the standard size army that I have. And I said it right there. I was like, I can't believe Husky actually left because I assumed I was playing with Husky Starcraft, but apparently I wasn't. So now I'm um, going to go and hit their expansions. And then you just going to keep moving. I've got those upgraded to uh, level 2 weapons, I believe it is. And should be working on the upgrade to 3 and the up armor upgrade to 1. Here's the ultimate trick with Void Rays. This number of Void Rays can drop anything. Simply because as soon as you get to someone, you need to hit their buildings first. Because Void Rays do a bizarre amount of damage when they're fully maxed out. And you can watch. I'm going to get hit by several waves. And I just completely destroy them all right here. Just boof, doof, 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 doof. Pick all of them off. They can't even hit me. Boom. More Void Rays. More of those dudes right there. I'll highlight their whole army right there. Just drop. Do, 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 do. Drop them all. Units just dropping like crazy now. Because Void Rays, when their power is maxed out, it's just insane how much damage they can do. Boom, hitting with a battle cruiser, dropped it. Shh, Colossus, drop it. Everything just gets owned by void rays. So yeah, when if that's if it's possible, you need to you gotta do that. You gotta go and you gotta hit someone's building first. Boom. Stupid Terran ground force. Toast. Bring in more void rays, take them all out. So uh, that's basically that, and just to kind of speed this video up a bit, uh, basically now we just, I continue to go in with Void Rays and I completely destroy Orange. Um, Corn Doggy hits Yellow from the side while I'm doing that and completely destroys uh, Yellow with his Mass Hydralis. And then uh, for about 
I don't know, like 10 more minutes, we have to fly around and find these things. Because as soon as you destroy the computer, he's going to rebuild something else somewhere. So at the very end, we find the last one, and we take it out, and that's the end. So, GG, guys.